The video from Russia is incredible. A massive meteor traveling at 33,000 miles per hour, trailing a brilliant white contrail, hitting the atmosphere and exploding with the force of an atomic bomb. You butt! Perhaps further evidence may be found only a few hundred miles away in the heart of the Muslim world. In the center of Mecca lies the Grand Mosque, the largest and holiest place of worship for Muslims. And at the heart of the Grand Mosque is the Kaaba, a cube-shaped granite structure measuring 43 feet high by 36 feet wide. In one part of that building, there is a black stone that is embedded in the side of the building. And nobody knows exactly where it came from. But the legend is that it came down from the sky, was brought down by an angel, and found its way into this particular location of the shrine. There's another tradition that suggests that this rock had been worshipped long before Muhammad's time, and that it is in fact an ancient meteorite which for ancient peoples would have been a sign from a god or gods. Now during the time that they're encircling the Kaaba seven times, if they were able, they should try to kiss the meteorite stone. But because of the numbers of people, especially in recent times, that's impossible. So the practice is that if you're unable to kiss the stone, you should point towards the stone. That shows your respect for the stone and your veneration of it. People believe that, of course, it was a meteorite that fell from the heavens that they have been able to keep. Some of it is in small fragments. It's broken away, but they've kept it intact with a silver lining structure around it. It is a magnificent artifact. On our last program, we talked about the black stone, right? Yeah. Um, uh, kissing the black stone, which was a pagan idol and bowing down towards the Kaaba, which was a small pagan temple. Exactly. And these, these are pagan practices. And so we wanted to, uh, to point out that Islam adopts pagan rituals as part of the heart of Islamic worship, right? So now we're not just talking about the idols. We're talking about the religious practices associated with those idols, that Islam adopts pagan practices as Part of, the, part of the five pillars, right? Exactly. So what are we talking about here? What is the Hajj? Uh, well, that's the pilgrimage that you must perform in Mecca, where you visit the Kaaba and perform the rites associated with the Kaaba, such as... So did, did the Muslims invent this? No, no. Okay. They, they'll even admit to you that these were practices observed by the mm -hmm. pagans before Muhammad. But their justification for it is, ah, but Ishmael settled there. We he, have any records of Ishmael doing? None there? whatsoever. Have any records of Abraham having Never, anything to do with this? None Ishmael? whatsoever. Okay. But we do have admission from Muslim sources the pagans were doing mm -hmm. it. Okay. So at least they admit that mm -hmm. part. And so what Muhammad did was he repackaged these pagan rituals in a monotheistic context. In fact, I encourage all Muslims to get a copy of the Abdullah Yusuf Ali translation of the Quran with the commentary. And read throughout chapter 2 of the Quran and see his commentary where he basically admits that Islam spiritualized mm. these practices that the pagans were actually observing. So he has to admit these are pagan practices, but Muhammad supposedly purified them and spiritualized them mm. and restored them to their true meaning. So the pagans are taking a trip to Mecca. The pagans are walking around, walking circles seven times around this building. For their seven planetary deities, by yeah. the way. The pagans are kissing this rock. The pagans are doing all, are, bow, are saying their prayers, throwing bowing down stones to this at building. The, Mina, the yeah. pagans are throwing this stone. We're going to do all of that, but we're going to do it for Allah, for Allah, and that makes us not pagans, right? Exactly, yeah. 
And so what, what we see here is Islam doesn't come and say, hey, stop these pagan practices. Islam comes along and says, we're going to adopt all of these pagan practices. And that's, that's the true religion, right? And they condemn the pagans. Very interesting stuff.